put water inside of it and you freeze it. The jade roller and gua sha promote blood circulation. It hit me all up in here. It hit me all up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to More Life with Courtney. My name is Courtney and today is going to be a self-care products haul. I have been on a self-care journey or trying to establish a self-care routine for a little while now, probably for a couple of months. And I said I'm going to get on Amazon and buy a whole slew of self-care products. So if this is something that you are interested in, please make sure you like this video, comment, let me know some things that you all use in your self-care uh, ritual or routine. And make sure you subscribe because this will not be the end. All right, so like I said, I'm trying to establish a whole self-care routine that's as far as shower routine, bath time routine, skin care, mental health, you know. And I also am wanting to work on taking care of myself internally as well. But today I'm going to go on a journey with you all with my outward and mental um, self-care items i actually have a list of all the items that i purchased everything that i'm speaking to you all about today came from amazon i did a whole amazon shopping spree as far as self-care <laughs> so i have everything broken up into categories i'm gonna they're not in any type of particular order i just did it that way on my phone i'm gonna start with skincare um, like I said, these items are in no particular order. They're just listed how I put them in my notes in my phone. The first thing I want to talk about is the Mighty Patch. Let me make sure you all can see clearly. These are acne and pimple spot stickers used to minimize the bumps overnight. They contain hydrocolloid and it's vegan friendly and they have been clinically tested. With these Mighty Patches, you all know we get some type of um acne we might get a, a bump when our cycle is about to come on or some type of hormonal bump whatever the case may be these patches are like a i guess they're supposed to blend in with your skin let me confirm these are 30 a pack of 36. yeah they're like a flesh color let me show you all can you see Hopefully you can see. <laughs> anyway, they're like a flesh color circular sticker that you put over the bumps and then you wear them overnight and they're supposed to get rid of whatever blemish or bump that you have on your face. The next item I'm going to speak about is the Black Girl Sunscreen. There we go. This is SPF 30 and this is a sunscreen. I'm not really big on sunscreen and I'm only saying that because I've actually had a bad reaction to um, some products that had uh, SPF in them. And they had two uh, ingredients in there. I'm gonna put them up on the screen. Those ingredients, I've been told by a dermatologist that those ingredients are, are ingredients that a lot of people are allergic to. And I was just totally scared to use all types of um, sunscreens because I didn't want my face to break out. I had like a Blistex um, brand that had SPF in it and it broke my whole, all my lips, my face and my cheeks, everything that was in the area of my lips, it broke it out and I've just been scared. So I really haven't been using anything sunscreen or SPF related because of that reason. So I um, researched and I realized that, okay, here it is. The actual um, ingredients that I'm allergic to is oxybenzone and oxynoxate. So this is, this black girl sunscreen is oxybenzone and oxynoxate free. And those are the things that I was like, well, let me jump on this. And I've been told that it does not create a white cast on your skin when you're using it. So I got this little small bottle just to try it out, just so that way I can see if I like it, how I like it. But of course I'm going to support a black owned business and this is black girl sunscreen. So we're gonna go about using this. Um, it says it's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's fragrance free. So that's a good plus as well. The next items I'm going to speak about are the Breely Aloe and Rose Eye Masks. Let me show them to you all. I have not opened these products as well, so that's why they're still in the plastic. Oh, there we go. Aloe Vera and Rose. 
So these are eye masks um, to use. They treat puffy eyes and dark circles. I have a tendency to have dark deep circles around my eyes when I'm really tired or whenever. So I want to try to use those, use these eye masks to combat <clears throat> the dark circles that I may have. They also promote youthful appearance by firming the under eye skin. Nobody wants wrinkles under their eyes. So this will be a preventative measure to make sure that we don't age faster than we're supposed to. Um, the next items I have are the Eclat Vitamin C Serum. This is what we have. And the Vitamin C Serum is an anti-aging and brightens it's anti-aging and it brightens the skin it helps with redness dryness super pigmentation hyper pigmentation <laughs> wrinkles and more so this is a serum that um you put on your skin after you more uh, cleaned it and this is a part of the moisturizing um process i believe and yeah so i believe i've read something about vitamin c helps with that as well so this is it's this is eclat's glow up vitamin c serum and it says with ferru ferulic acid and vitamin e instant brightening solution the next item i'm going to speak about is the nano steamer facial steamer let me get it it's kind of large again i have not unboxed anything here is the steamer right here it comes in different colors i got the blue one the facial steamer has precise temperature control with well, this particular one has precise temperature control it unclogs pores it, um, it has a black head remover and it also serves as a towel warmer so i think there's like a little a little area in within the steamer that you can put towels or i guess washcloths or whatever and it kind of warms those towels so that way you can put them on your face as well i know with steam it opens up your pores and allows your pores to be able to breathe to be able to clear out any leftover makeup residue or any oils that we we don't need and it allows our skin to breathe so i'm really really excited to use that the next item that i'm going to speak about is the Cos RX Snail Mucin Serum. All right, here it is right here, out of the box. And the purpose of the Snail Mucin Serum is an additional anti-aging, hydrating, and brightening serum. So I guess it either works hand in hand or, um, in, or an uh, alternate option to the Vitamin C Serum. But let's see if it says anything specifically on the bottle a special blend of snail essence and radiance essence in one bottle formulated with triple snail complex and niacinamide it will enhance skin plumpness plumpness and will boost your skin's radiance so all good for making the skin look brighter and um more youthful the next items on the list are the jade roller and gua sha let me take them out of the box all right, so here is the jade roller. I got it in, I got it in black. And then here is the washer. I know they're supposed to, and I got them in black as well because the accent color in our bathroom is black. So I tried to get everything <laughs> that I could black that will be on display. But the jade roller and gua sha promote blood circulation eliminates puffiness in the skin dark circles and wrinkles i know um, you can use this gua sha with some of the serums i believe you can use it to push i'm not going to do it now because then i'll be putting makeup on this <laughs> but you uh use this gua sha to push the skin back to stretch the skin out get circulation moving within the skin um, around the eye area maybe the neck I do a little bit more research to see exactly how to use it, but I do know it's supposed to help with circulation. And I believe it's supposed to like, if you use it on a regular basis, it will like help with slimming or causing um, a slimming effect on your skin, on your face, whatever, we'll see. The next items on the list are, or is the lymphatic facial massage oil. And here it is right here. The brand name is Bruzex, I believe. Here it is right here. All right, this is the um, 
facial massage oil. I believe you can use this with the gua sha as well. Um, the purpose of the facial massage oil is to, it, it detoxes, it cleanses, and improves the texture of your skin and it moisturizes the skin as well. And yes, I have in parentheses, used with jade roller and gua sha. So these two items, or should I say three items, the jade roller, the gua sha, and the lymphatic facial massage oil, they work well together or work together as a combo. The next items on the list are the Collagen Korean Face Masks. Okay, I have a huge pack of them right here. If you can see, they come in different um, scents or ingredients. I have aloe, uh, gold collagen mask, green tea, um, vitamin, red ginseng, aqua, olive, pomegranate, just a whole bunch of different um, ingredients. Let me just show you one so you can see what they look like, uh, or the packaging anyway, but the masks are in these packages right here, and um, I'm excited to use these as well. The purpose of these masks are to hydrate and smooth the skin on your face so can't lose with that <laughs> the next item on the list is the good molecules eye gel it's actually in a smaller container than i expected but i guess a little bit goes a long way here it is right here the purpose of the good molecules eye gel is to wake up gel with hyaluronic acid and caffeine to minimize puffiness puffiness and swelling so um, let's see if it gives instruction reduces signs of puffiness and plump the appearance of fine lines apply a small amount under the eyes on the orbital bone and massage outwards so under the eye as well um, another item that can help with a uh, youthful look and reducing wrinkles. The next item on the list is the Clean Skin Club Towels. I'm not going to take them out of the box but here is the box. Um, here is the box that they come in. These are towels to use uh, when you're washing and cleaning your face or dry. After you've washed your face, you can use these towels to dry your face. You don't want to continue to use washcloths because washcloths uh, retain bacteria and oils and dirt and stuff from your face. So you want to use a clean towel every time you wash your face to ensure that your face is thoroughly clean. The next item on the list is the Good Molecules Facial Toner. Here is the bottle right here. The Good Molecules Facial Toner has niacinamide that closes pores, so it makes the skin tight on your face after you have cleaned it and cleared out all of the items from, or the oils and the whatever gunk is on your face. Um, the niacinamide closes the pores. It has arbutin that helps with hyperpigmentation and licorice root extract and licorice root extract that soothes inflammation so this is something that helps uh, your skin to uh, like after you've been you after you've manipulated your skin for a while with uh, washing and maybe extracting different things out of your face and cleaning all the pores this is something that will close those pores and calm your face down so that way your face won't look red and puffy the next thing on the list under um, skincare is the ice roller. This ice roller is still wrapped in plastic, <laughs> but um, it is black. And um, basically you put water inside of it and you freeze it. And then once you freeze it, you take the top off and you use it to rub on your skin as this way like i said i got it black but i believe it comes in multiple colors but i got the black one to match with the bathroom the notes that i took about the ice roller it helps with eye bags lifting and shaping it also improves blood circulation within the face the next item on the skin care list is the mario badescu facial spray here is the spray right here here we go 
Um, the purpose of this facial spray brightens and de-stresses and soothes the skin. It's an on-the-go spray throughout the day. So it's something that can brighten and freshen your skin throughout the day. You can keep it in your car. That, I think that's what I might do. Keep it in my car, especially since summer is coming up. This is something that I can use to keep my face looking fresh. I'll keep some wipes in my car. Um, pollen is out. So basically, I'll be using those wipes to clean my face, clean the pollen off my skin, and I can use this spray to just brighten and refresh in my face throughout the day as I'm running errands or whatever I'm doing throughout the day. Okay, I believe that's it as far as skincare. The next category I'm going to speak about is shower and bath. Um, the first thing I want to speak about are the Daily Rituals Shower Steamers. Alright, here are the Daily Ritual Shower Steamers. They smell so, ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 that's so strong it hit me all up in here it hit me all up in here <laughs> but anyway the purpose of the daily rituals and that's just the brand daily rituals but the shower steamers are for aromatherapy when you're in the shower they assist in respiratory health and that's what i just felt <laughs> decongestant they are decongestant and they promote relaxation and stress relief what you do is just place these at the bottom of your shower floor and they um, basically aerate and spread aroma throughout your shower with the steam and they give you all of this relaxation and um, uh, as it said aromatherapy. I believe this one is, it says bamboo and mint. That's the fragrance that I got, um, but I can definitely taste <laughs> and smell the mint. The next item under shower and bath is, are the dry brush and foot brush. Here is the dry brush. And here is the foot brush. Hope you can see it. There we go. Um, the purpose of these brushes, the dry brush is to uh, use on your dry skin before you get in the shower. This helps to bring up any dead skin and helps the exfoliation process before you get in the shower. The purpose of the foot brush is to do the same. Um, it helps to cleanse uh, the feet between the toes and everything and also has a pumice on the back to help smooth the skin on the bottom of your feet. Um, my notes say used to exfoliate skin, promote smooth skin, foot brush also has a pumice stone. So that's what I said already. Or the next items <laughs> under shower and bath is a foot file and pumice. I got, well I really bought this specifically for the foot file. It's still in pla plastic, but you can see it right here. Um, the purpose is to get any dead skin off the bottom of the feet. I hate thinking about it. I hate looking at it. I hate talking about it. It's giving me, it's making me feel queasy right now just talking about it. But we got to be real with ourselves. We got to make sure that we have smooth skin. I try to go to uh, get a pedicure once a month, but during the that time frame between each pedicure, I want to make sure that my feet uh, stay smooth and doesn't have any type of dead skin this one came with a bunch of pumice uh bricks i guess what you can call yeah pumice bricks i'm gonna call it <laughs> and um it came with like i think three or four so i felt like it was a good deal to come along with this foot file the next item on the list is a waterproof tub light um i think this is gonna be so vibey when i get in the tub and relax and have my candles going my wine with me bubble bath i want to see if i can create like another vibe this light is like i said it's waterproof and it turns into so many different colors let me show you all the different colorways it has a remote with it as well and you can just put it inside the tub and it lights up the tub when you're in there and i just cannot wait to use it I'm really, really ready. The next item on the list is a back scrubber. Now, we all know that if you're in the shower by yourself, you may not be able to get all the nooks and crannies and everything of your back. You may not be able to reach every part of your back. So, why not get a back scrubber? This back scrubber has like a harder, uh, let me see if I can show you too, a harder, um, bump or raised 
<laughs> silicone area for rough spots and then it also has this softer um, silicone you all see there we go a softer silicone um, raising on this side as well so this it has a long arm so you can use it to get all the different spots on your back that you're not able to reach behind yourself if you don't have anybody in the shower with you all right the next item on the list is the tree hut body sugar scrub um, we all know tree hut um, sugar scrub i know we all have seen these in target but i actually like the coco colada uh, fragrance i don't think i've seen this in target but the purpose of the sugar scrub is to help with exfoliating and softens the skin all over your body it helps with exfoliating and softening the skin all over your body the next item on the list are shower gloves i've actually bought a pair from target but this i think came with a five or a ten pair i don't know i can't remember but <laughs> here they are right here they are um they help with exfoliating as well and they allow you to be able to get the nooks and crannies of your body that you normally can't use or can't get to with using a washcloth the notes that i gave were exfoliating the skin but basically like i said these are uh, a washcloth alternative that you can use to wash your body the next thing on the list is the dr teal's foaming bath here it is right here um the fragrance that i got is lavender and basically um, i got it to use as bubble bath and the lavender is to help soothe and help with sleep so i don't know what it is about lavender you all may know i have not done the research but i do know that lavender helps with calming your body and putting you to sleep so if i'm taking nighttime baths i would definitely use the dr teal's lavender bubble bath or um foaming bath is what they call it the next item on the list is the L'Occitane Shower Cleansing Oil. Here is the one that I have chosen. The cleansing oil helps cleanses without drying your skin. It's used for base washing and for shaving. So basically, I will use this to wash to um, help with the initial cleanse and then I will use a shower gel or soap or whatever I decide to use to clean after and those are usually for fragrance as well but um, I want to start using this shower oil to see how it helps uh, cleansing of the body and smooths and moisturize the skin as well I see also as I put in my notes that you can use it for shaving as well so if you want to shave your legs or whatever you need to shave you can use this oil on your skin to lubricate and use a razor for. The last item on the list for shower and bath items are heel socks. Here are a pair. I got three pair. They are black, of course. But the purpose of these heel socks are to maintain um, smooth skin on the heels. Especially during the summertime when you're wearing sandals whatever it is is when you're walking around your heels dry out and they start to i guess peel maybe and so to go along with the foot file and the pumice to keep the skin the skin smooth after you moisturize your skin on your feet i want to try to use these socks to keep them moisturized they are heel socks because i don't like wearing socks to sleep i know i could wear regular socks but the thing is I hate the feeling of socks on my feet when I sleep. So if I could have the benefit of having my heels covered without having my toes covered, I'm all for it. If I fall asleep with socks on, they're coming off in the middle of the sleep without my knowledge. So I hope I don't feel the same way with this. I think I won't because like I said, my toes will be free and aired out, but the heels will definitely be covered and maintain the moisture within the skin. The next item um, or the next category for my skin and self-care is oral. I think I only have one item for oral care. Yes, I do. And the item is the tongue scraper. I'm not going to take it out, but here's a picture of the tongue scraper right here. The purpose of the tongue scraper is to help remove bacteria and improve taste and better breath. So a lot of times we don't get 
everything with our toothbrushes. Um, sometimes people forget to brush their tongue, which I don't understand. You're supposed to brush your teeth, your gums, your tongue, top of your mouth, your entire mouth. But sometimes those brushes don't get everything that you need in order to cl fully cleanse and thoroughly cleanse your tongue. So this metal tongue scraper is um, something that you can use to get all the way to the back of your tongue and it helps clean the top of your tongue off to get any leftover bacteria that the um, toothbrush doesn't catch. The next category for my self-care products is beauty. The first item on the beauty list is the VIE, I don't know if it's pronounced VI or V Beauty Eyelash Serum. Here is the serum right here. The and then it has like a little uh, applicator. Can you see? There we go, a skinny brush applicator. The purpose of this eye serum, the purpose of this eye serum is to promote longer and fuller lashes. I wanna start using it in the morning and night. I'm not big or huge on eyelashes anyway, but every now and then for special occasions, I'll put them on or maybe for date night. But if I can try to avoid using them, I want to try to promote the growth of my own eyelashes. I don't use eyelashes on a regular basis, so it's not like I have um, eyelash damage, but they aren't the longest eyelashes either. So I want to try to use some type of serum to help grow my eyelashes, so that way I had, so that way I can have a natural look. The next item under beauty is the Sol de Janeiro fragrance. This is the one I got. Here it is, right here. Um, this is the pistachio and salted caramel fragrance. It is a hair and body mist to basically smell good. Simple as that. You want to smell great. You want to smell delicious. You want to smell fun, fun and flirty. <laughs> and like I said, summertime is coming, so why not smell good? And if your hair can smell good, your skin can smell good, why not use it? The next item under beauty is the uh, clean and fresh makeup brush cleaner. Um, as you all may have seen, I'll link it above, but I just did a video on learning how to do my makeup, a full face of makeup, whenever I decide to do it. I want to be able to have these, uh, this makeup brush cleaner. I'm not going to unbox it, but it's just, um, it says this cleaner can gently clean your makeup tools. It has a strong cleaning effect on the oil and cosmetic residue on the makeup tools, leaving your tools clean and ready for the next use. So it's some type of liquid that you can use to clean your brushes, make sure all the brushes are clean so that way they won't transfer any um, bacteria between each use. The last item under beauty is or are these uh, makeup brush mats. There we go. You can see. There we go. Um, I got black and purple. Most likely I'll be using black, but um, they came as a two pack. The purpose of these are to use them with your brushes. I don't have a brush handy with me, but basically you'll put these in the sink as water and you use a cleaner. Um, you uh, use this to rub the brushes along and help clean, thoroughly clean the brushes from the makeup that is on them. All right, you guys. The next category that I want to speak about is relaxation. I only have one item right now. A lot of these can go under the relaxation category, but the only item that I got specifically for relaxation are the Bahumi heated eye masks. I'm not going to unbox them, but let's see if I can find a picture. I'll just show you how they look on the box. There we go. Maybe the ring light is what's creating the issue with focusing. But anyway, um, the purpose of these masks are to soothe, moisten, and relax the eyes at night. They help to refresh your eyes, stimulate circulation, relieve insomnia and migraines, relieve eye fatigue and dry eyes, reduce eye wrinkles, dark circles, and enable a deep slumber sleep. So you wear these while you sleep. It says enjoy eye spa, eye spa every time. So, and then the fragrance that I got is lavender. Like I said, lavender helps with relaxation. This is a 10 pack steam eye mask for when you sleep. The next category is motivation. I have two items under the motivation category. I have the mindfulness and meditation cards and self care tracker sheets. The stress relief and self care cards. It says they are, this is a 52 pack card and they, um, 
contain easy and effective exercises to learn how to stop your stress reaction. Use these exercises in your daily life, school, office, and work. This is how each card looks. And then on the back, it has some information. It says stress relief and self-care cards. I'm just gonna read one for you. The jumping mind. The objective is to notice those jumping thoughts and calm the mind. The, um, it has four, I'm not sure of all of them, but this particular card has four ways to help with that. Number one, sit with a quiet mind and take a nice deep breath. Number two, notice your thoughts. Are they jumping around so much that you can't relax? Are you easily distracted? Do you have trouble turning your mind off? If so, you may have something known as jumping mind. Number three, challenge yourself to quiet the mind. Imagine you are floating on a clear blue lake with your thoughts immersed under the water. Number four, give yourself a moment of peace and enjoy this sense of peace for as long as you're able to. So these are cards that help you with combating anything that may stress you and show you how you can relieve those stressors that may come to you at work, at home, whatever. The next item is this self-care weekly tracker. Um, it's like a pull off sheet and um, you can write down the week that you're speaking of or the current week and it has different self care goals. Eat something green, take a walk, put your phone down, tidy something up, live, laugh, love. It has a whole list of different things that you can use to um, encourage yourself and promote self care. It also has a list of all the days of the week so that way you can check it off and see how much you're taking care of yourself, how many things that you can do within the week to help yourself and encourage yourself to take care of self because without self care, who are you going to be able to care and, and love? Like they always say, you cannot pour from an empty cup or an empty vessel. So. If you don't have much to give, how can you give to others? If you don't have anything to give yourself, if you feel empty and you can't love and encourage and care for yourself, how can you love and encourage and care for anybody else? Take care of self first. All right, guys, the last category that I want to speak on as far as self-care that I definitely, I didn't mention it earlier in the video, but what I definitely try to do for myself or that I try to encourage my husband to do for me and sometimes he does it because he wants to but either way i love to have flowers <laughs> so basically flowers improve my mood they make me happy they make me smile and i love seeing them around the house in the kitchen in my bedroom um and if nobody else gives me flowers i have no problem with buying flowers for myself it makes me happy to create different arrangements from the different flower collections that are in different stores i truly truly enjoy it so if it's something that you like to do that boosts your mood helps your mood make you smile just because do it for yourself my thing like i said is flowers i love to buy myself flowers i love seeing flowers i try to have a bouquet of flowers in the house every week i love seeing them around the house all right you guys that's it for today's video i truly appreciate you all for sticking around i hope this video encourages somebody you you to take care of yourself do whatever you need to make yourself feel special make yourself feel happy um take care of your skin your body this is the only body that we have so why not take care of it if you can't nobody else will or if you won't nobody else will so take that time to take care of yourself buy whatever products you need all of these items will be linked down below under my amazon storefront i will put my entire storefront and i will also link the specific um, category of self-care under the video as well everything came from amazon with the exception of the flowers um, but like I said, I encourage you all to do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself, to encourage yourself, love yourself. If nobody else will, who will? If you all enjoyed this video, I want to encourage you to like it, comment under the video. Let me know what items that you all use to help take care of yourself as what you use in your own self-care routine, what you use to promote mental health and awareness. Um, let me know how you feel about this video, things that if you have more educational information regarding these items, make sure you let me know down below. If this is something that you all enjoy, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way I can continue to educate and encourage you all to take care of yourself. Thank you all so much and I will see you on the next video.